Hi, this is John Berger, and uh, I'm happy to be here with uh, Matt Patel and Alan Herman and a bunch of friends here, a bunch of drummer friends, yeah. and uh, just going to talk today a little bit about one of my teachers, the great Gary Chester. Um, many of you are uh, probably familiar with his book, New Breed, which was actually put out after Gary passed on, but uh, it's 100% accurate and portrayal of Gary's wonderful systems. Um, and uh, what's amazing about Gary's system is that it enables not only accuracy on the drum set and improves your coordination, but Gary's concept was, uh, I think in a way it was, it was uh, focused on it, a little bit more advanced drummers. Uh, we've all grown up the traditional system of counting and uh, subdividing rhythms and you know counting in 4-4 four, four, for example 1-2-3-4, 1-and-2-and-3-and-4. Four, four, one and 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 four. Gary's system was developed to help you organically feel rhythm, sense rhythm, know where the time is at all at, at, at any given moment and also enable you to open up your ears not only have the coordination to play figures while you're playing in time but be able to understand what's going on around you in a band. Gary was a, one of the top session drummers for years, 50s and 60s, on thousands of records. In, in a sense, he was like the Steve Gadd of his day. And he came up with this idea in the studio because they, it'll, very often he'd be handed lead sheets, maybe a bass part, for example. And the, the clock was running. There was very little time to record the, whatever the track was. So he'd be playing a part listening to music for the first time, watching a bass part, and he had to come up with a drum part that went with it. So he started to come up with this concept of singing what he was looking at. So if he was looking at a bass part, he'd be playing along, and he would be singing the bass part, and he realized by doing that, he was able to find parts that fit. He was able to line up his body. It was a very organic process. So over the years, he kind of started to write things down. He developed a system. So. The first uh, step, which is actually uh, a little bit counterintuitive to most drummers, is rather than counting one, two, three, four, he has you sing the syllable ta, 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 ta. So you have to, one of the things you have to train yourselves to do when you're doing the system is to, is to not count and to stop yourself from counting and to sing. And it's very interesting what happens because you, in a much more organic way, you start to feel the pulse quarter note to start with we're singing ta so I'll give you an example I'm just gonna play a straight pattern of 16th notes on the hi-hat 1-3 on the bass drum 2-4 and four on the snare drum and I'm gonna sing the quarter note you know, you know thinking about this this system and how I've used it and working with students, I found that there's a big difference when you're learning music and you're counting. There's nothing wrong with that system. It's very important and I highly recommend it and I have my students do it, but I think it's good to do both because I find when I'm counting, trying to figure something out, what I play ends up immediately, the first step is what I've learned to play comes out very mechanical. going for accuracy of course but then I have to take a second step and make it sing make it musical so you know the again the great thing with Gary's approach is that you're immediately feeling a pulse by singing it using your voice your natural voice you're much more relaxed and you feel So that's the first step. Okay. So in his book, which uh, we were talking about this before, uh, before New Breed was established, we used the Ralph Pace book, uh, Matt, variations. Va variations, variations, of drumming. variations of Drumming by Ralph Pace, um, <coughs> and a lot of syncopated patterns in this book. I mean, that's that's kind of the uh, the overall uh, purpose of that book is, is is reading and playing syncopated rhythms. Eighth notes, sixteenth notes, thirty-second notes, and various uh, permutations. But so Gary would have us read 
out of that book, The Rhythms, which are all in, in his book. Okay. So the first step is using the bass drum. So starting this, uh, with a simple pattern of 16th notes in the hi-hat, 2 and 4 in the snare drum, we would read what he would call the melody line. So we're going to start with, this is page 14 in, Gar in the new brief. I'm going to read the first line with my bass drum. But I'm also, it's now the fifth limb. It's five-way independence. I'm now going to sing the quarter note on top of that. Okay. So when you do this, I recommend you do it very slowly and like you break down any kind of uh, drumming. Like do it maybe one measure at a time, one beat at a time until you get it. It, 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 it takes time. So I'm going to try my best. I haven't done this in a while. really like the first the first step of uh, of Gary's system which uh, you know you can we could try this with any one single line snare drum part um, something that is stick control perhaps or you know any any book you have that's like a, a little bit more straight ahead pattern try reading with your bass drum um, then the next more advanced level once you get that down is to play quarter notes in the bass drum and sing the melody line, okay? I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit. Okay, so those are two, two pretty, uh, doesn't sound like much, but uh, you know, give it a try. Um, I recommend doing it slowly. Okay, and then there are various uh, ways that you can uh, mix this up. He always used to have us have a floor tom on the left, a floor tom on the right, and basically just keep switching it up. Melody line on the bass drum, always singing quarter notes. Melody line on the snare drum. Um, melody line with your left hand on the floor tom. Okay, then a third. Uh, Third variation, a third system is to sing off beat eighth notes. One and two and three and four and ta, 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 ta. So I'm going to give that a try. The top line. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, give it a try. It's a, a fantastic book. New Breed, this is the first book. There are actually two. This is uh, The New Breed by Gary Chester. It's a wonderful system. Give it a try. And one thing I want to add uh, that is great with this, as I said before, what, what the, the, the whole reason that Gary established this is to be able to hear what's going on around you. Very often, you're playing in a band, and they'll come in with a new arrangement, and they'll say it's funk, for example. But... You can't quite find a part. Rather than just trying to force a part in there or record it and go back, try to, to lock in with the bass player. Try to sing the bass line or sing part of the bass line. Um, you know, just stop playing and listen to the bass part. Try to sing the bass part. Same thing we're doing here. That's the melody line. It's really going to help you find a part that fits. It's really going to help you lock in with the bass player as opposed to just playing on top of the music. So, um, yeah, have fun with it. Take your time and uh, yeah. Thank you, Matt.